Jim and I were standing right next to each other and it was only a matter of milliseconds but we had sufficient time to look each other in the eye and that was the last time I saw Jim alive. Then there was this whooshing sound and it's just like Two trains passing at high speed where you get that build-up of pressure and then the blast hit us and I was flown through the air. I now know we were both hit by one of the hatchway doors being blown off. One hitting Jim fair and square, killing him outright, and the same door taking my left arm off of the shoulder. My name is John Phillips. I'm a former Royal Engineers Bomb Disposal Officer and I am 79 years of age. In 1982, the Argentines invaded the Falkland Islands. Mine and Staff Sergeant Jim Prescott's role was to deal with unexploded airdrop weapons. HMS Antelope had been hit by two unexploded bombs, and as we approached her, we could see the hole of entry, which was the side in the ship, where the bomb had gone through. After the third or fourth time of trying to extract the fuse from the bomb, it exploded. I was conscious the whole time, flying through the air, and hitting the bulkhead um, with my backside, fortunately, instead of my head, um, brought me to my senses. I then started to feel around for further injuries, worried that the ship was on fire, filling with smoke, and I didn't know how to get out. One of the crew came down, put his hand on my shoulder, told me that Jim was dead, and told me to follow him. As I escaped the ship onto the flight deck, I was holding the arm in my pullover. Because of the weight, I realised it had been detached from my body. And I was watching aluminium burning like paper, just floating down. And then um, I eventually abandoned ship with the rest of the crew. I then began to suffer from severe shock. And I just kept saying to myself, you're not going to fall asleep. You're not going to fall asleep. You're going to survive. You're going to survive. I now know I lost an awful lot of blood, as you would imagine, but the surgeons in Ajax Bay were very good and obviously took my arm but saved my life. In those days, there was news reports every night of what was going on in the Falklands. And it came on the news that HMS Antelope had been hit by unexploded bombs and had sunk. They also said a bomb disposal officer had been killed and one had survived. It was two days before Christine knew that I was a survivor. So I managed to ring her a week after the injury to tell her that I've only lost my left arm. But there's no burns involved. And that was a relief to her. I was very proud to receive the Distinguished Service Cross. Jim Prescott got the Conspicuous Gallantry Medal, which was the only one issued for the Falklands campaign and the only one I understand issued in the Queen Elizabeth the second reign. It's an extremely rare award. Blesma have helped me a great deal since I've been a member, in various degrees, but mainly they helped me when my wife was seriously ill. Um, she was in Woolwich Hospital with cancer, and we had Tilly the dog then. I had to put her in kennels for a month. Blesma paid for that. They paid for my transportation up to London and back. They supported me for a month. Yeah, Blesma have helped me in many, many ways in addition to the gardening grants, of course.